Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashim. This is today's back training workout. I'm going to call it barn door back training because I would like a gigantic big back. And this is a phrase used by Mark Lobliner, so I'm just copying a bodybuilder because I'm trying to be a bodybuilder. No, I'm kidding. I just want to get big. So, well, that is what bodybuilders want to do, right? So, uh, f for those of you who have been following me for a while, you guys will know that I've been complaining about my weighted pull-ups very much. But uh, this was a good workout. I felt very much in tune. I was able to get that aggressiveness that I wanted to complete each rep. So I didn't go very heavy in terms of, uh, I didn't do many reps. I'm not counting reps that uh, I don't feel are justified. For example, in the first set, I actually did two reps, but I'm only going to count it as one because I didn't feel like the second rep met the mark that I wanted. Um, I'm very happy with this uh, plus 45 for four because uh, the last time I did plus 45, I only got three reps. And I've been getting only three consistently. So this it's after a long time that I'm able to get four. And that too confidently, so I'm very happy. And I'm hoping that this, this thing have continues. So I think one of the things that I'm gonna do is more body weight sets on other days. I think that helps. All right, enough thinking. Let's talk about uh, how I felt. This workout on the whole was very good. I went in pretty worried about my lower back. And as you guys know, I'm very, becoming more and more paranoid about it. Shit, very paranoid. And that's bad. But so, well, the thing is, uh, there was no pain. But I'm very, very cautious about saying that because it's evening right now. I did the workout earlier today and uh, today's a Monday, by the way, and I feel okay. Uh, I was a little apprehensive about the dumbbell rows. I thought that maybe with the dumbbell rows, the really heavy, you know, 140 pound sets that I have thrown in there, maybe with that, there'll be some lower back pain. But you know, with this new stance that Eric has me doing, where I'm basically putting one leg on top of a bench and doing these dumbbell rows instead of doing it like before, where I used to stand on both my feet, lean forwards on a platform, and then do the rows. With with this new way of, of using the bench and putting my knee upon it, I'm pretty much taking out all lower back action. So there's no no lower back pump or anything that I get out of it. I feel very little in my lower back. I just have to make sure to, that I need to keep my core braced. But I would need to keep my core braced regardless of whether this back injury existed or not. All of these uh, lat pull down sets, by the way, I'm gonna skip forward again. All of these lat pull down sets are, are rest pause, but it's not like an official rest pause, rest pause like DC style training. They're not three mini sets, they're just two. I just wanna get the overall reps and beat the over overall reps. So this week, I managed to cross 20 reps on whichever set that I've crossed 20 reps, I think it's set number one, uh, set number two actually, uh, and set number three, I came four, I came close. So whatever, as I once I get uh, past 20, I'm gonna probably add some weight and then lower the reps by a lot. So if you suddenly see a drastic decrease in reps next week on one of the sets and an increase in weight, a marginal increase, because I'm only gonna go up by one slab on that machine. So if you see that increase, it's because I'm just playing it conservatively. All right, this is a rest pause set with 65 for 20 and then five. Last week I did 60 for, I forget the exact set rep scheme, but whatever, the total was over three mini sets or one rest pause set, I got 35 reps. So I thought, you know what, once I hit 35, there's no reason to be uh, greedy. Let me back off a little bit on terms of reps and let me take a little heavier weight. So I didn't increase the weight by much. It just went from 60 to 65, but the reps have reduced by 10. So that gives me enough of a running start. You know, I'm gonna get it to 35 again. Once I get it to 35, I'll bump it up and do, probably 70 and then the set before this I did, I did 60 for, f for 15 I'll do 65 for 15 instead so that's why I'm gonna slowly slowly work up let's see how I feel at the end of the day this I have to feel it and this is about hypertrophy more than anything else and I'm trying to get that uh, that movement down right I'm also trying to focus on keeping my on locking out my elbows and my arms on every single rep. Sometimes it doesn't happen. With these lightweights, I just it's like it's such a breeze from time to time that I don't feel like doing it, but that's not good. I need to lock out on every single rep. And you guys will see I'm forcibly doing it with the cable rows. That happens next because after I did this set, I sort of like realized that hey wait, I'm making a mistake. So maybe for these last five reps it's better. I don't know. I try to match it by the way, my, my left, I, I'm, I'm right handed, so my right side tends to be stronger, that's why I start off with my left and then I match my right to my left. Whenever I do gripper training as well with the Captains of Crush grippers, I always, I know this is cheating and a bit weird, but I always do one, one rep or two reps overall more with my left hand than with my right because I figure that when push comes to shove and I really have to run for it and whatever instinct takes over, I'll be stronger with my right than I will be with my left, so it's okay to compensate. every single rep arms are completely extended there you saw me forcefully doing that 
and uh, I'm pinching my my back. Cable rows are awesome. I've not had this much fun on cable rows in a long time. And all in all, this was a great workout. I'm very happy. Everything went as per plan. I didn't. I was. I was thinking going into this workout that maybe I should do some cable pull throughs, hip extensions, and weighted abs. At the end, if I feel like it. But then you know, sometimes I think if you do more, if if I the more I do, I might aggravate my lower back. So I just wanted to. As long as there was no pain, I felt good. I was like, there's no need to push it at all. So I'm not pushing it. I thought this through. And yeah, this was a good workout. Tomorrow's gonna be shoulder straps and triceps. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate your love and support. Thank you very much.